hello everyone welcome back to my channel and how are you all doing in today's photoshop tutorial we'll be creating a transparent text and also a design like text like this okay so without wasting your time let's get started so i have the picture here in photoshop already and then the first thing i'll do is I want to create the text that I want to put on this picture, which is summer. So I'll go ahead and click on my text to here, or I click on T on my keyboard to bring out the text for me. Okay, so I'll just click anywhere here and I'll type in what I want to put on the picture, which is summer. So let's you that summer. I'll go ahead and reduce the size. I can reduce the size from here and I can as well reduce the size from here. So I'll go ahead and drag it from here and with this side I'll just drag it backwards. Then I'll change to my move tool by clicking V on my keyboard and I think this Oops, good. I'll just look for where I want the text to be here. I think this is looking nice. Okay. So I'll go ahead and make the text transparent. Okay, and I can as well increase the height from here. Just to make it taller. Just to increase the height. Then to make the text transparent, I'll go ahead and click on the fill tab here and take the fill down to zero. So I'll just drag it down to zero percent. Then the text is gone. Then I'll go ahead and add some effects to the summer text for it to appear on the picture. So I can go to my FX tab here or double click on the summer layer. And to bring out the layer style so we can add some stroke to it let's go to stroke and as you can see the summer is now showing the stroke is just to give it like a border one okay and you can also change the color if you want it to be uh, a different color you can you can do that as well but I would like it to be let me see, not too white. Plain white, okay? I think this color is good for me. Then I can increase the size and I can also decrease the size, okay? So we we'll just make the size not too big. I think five. Let's see. I think this is good. This is okay. Then I can also add, there are different stuff so you can add. You can have this to it you can add color overlay you can add gradient overlay you can add pattern to it if you have pattern on your photoshop so i just want to add gradient overlay so i'll go ahead and click on the gradient overlay here and as you see here the we have different gradients here that we can choose from okay so this presently it's on the basic black to white foreground so I can decide to choose any type of gradient that I like to give it a nice effect okay so I'll just go ahead and choose any color I think is good okay. so I'll still I'm still gonna change it. I'm still gonna change the blending mode here to overlay. Okay, this is good. And I can as well reduce the opacity if I don't want it to be if I don't want the effect to be too much. Okay, I can then click 50. Opacity at 50 is okay. I think that's looking good. Then the other thing I can do is add some little effect to the background layer itself. So what I'm going to do is 
I want to add like a, a filter to the background layer. So I'll go ahead and click on the text layer. Then on the text box here, I'll hold on my command or control key and then I'll click on it to make a selection out of the text. Then I want to invert the selection. I don't want to make any adjustments in the text itself but outside the text that's the background layer so i'll go ahead and click on select and then i'll click on inverse so any effect i'm doing is not going to affect the inside of the text but outside of the text and that's the background itself so now the background itself is selected then i'll go ahead and click on the background layer then i'll add solid color layer to this okay and I can choose any color that I like uh, we'll see how that works in some seconds okay so let's just add this one just for a start then I'll click on ok so what I'm going to do is I will reduce the opacity of this color fill layer here okay so I'll go ahead and take it down and it's going to give the background layer some filter like effect then i can also change the blend mode from normal to let me see i'll just choose color so it's going to take on the natural brightness of the background layer itself then we can go ahead and change the color to whatever color that we like if you want to any color you can change it to red just to give it like a filter like effect and decide to choose any color that suits you okay this is very bad okay. reduce the brightness as well I'll just go for this one I think this is Okay. so this is it we've been able to create a transparent text on this picture okay so the other effects that I want to do is putting a pattern inside a text using a picture so I'll just go to my other picture here so I want to create the text but I want the pattern here, yeah, the trees, to be inside the text as well. So the first thing I'm going to do here yeah, is I'm going to duplicate this layer by clicking on Ctrl or Command J on my keyboard. And then we have another copy of the layer. So what I'm going to do next is create the text that I want. So I'll go ahead and click on T on my keyboard or I can also click on T here in the T section. So I'll click on anywhere on the picture and then I'll type in sunset. Let's see sunset for example. Okay and I'll go ahead back and click on my YouTube. Then I can move it anywhere that I like and I can also make it bigger by going here to the character tab in case you don't see the character tab here you can go to windows and then you click on character and it's going to take it out of here so i'll just drag it to the right to make it bigger to to the size that i want that i feel is appropriate for me so i'll just place it anywhere and the other thing I can do is if I want to copy this style, I can drag the summer here and take it into this one. Just like that. Then what I can do is I can edit it, right? I'll just double click it and, and type in sunset. Okay, yeah, so that's it. I can just use that one 
just like that if I don't want to go through this stress of maybe typing I can just drag it drag the effect from the other tab here and put it right into this one but since I already created a new one I just right and delete the sunset that I just created so I just go down here and drag it into the trash can okay I would like to make the text bigger you can choose any text that you like it's good to choose a text that is white so the effect will show not something like like this this is too tiny the text will show you need something big that can take all our stuff in. okay so we can can do something like 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 this if you want but I'll stick with the area black so I can still go ahead and tweak it make it longer to make it look nice bigger size to make it look nice okay this is looking good I'll just put it where I want the text to cut it so I'll go ahead and drag the layer copy here on top of the sunset so now the layer copy has covered the sunset what i'm going to do next is create a click map by right clicking on the layer here and then i click on click, click map. and there we have the text And then the copy here, the layer copy here, let me name it tree, will only show on where the sunset is. So if I decide to move the sunset anywhere, I'll click on Command or Ctrl T for transform. Then I can move the sunset anywhere and it's still going to take up the picture so I'll just leave it right there you can tell so to make this more visible I'll go ahead and bring in uh, other pictures I'll just click on the picture here from this folder and just drag it inside Photoshop then before I Save it. I'll just go ahead and adjust it to fit in with the other picture. Just like that. So I just held my shift key and then dragged it to fit in with the background picture. And then I'll just click this to confirm it. And then I'll do same for the second picture. I'll order my shift key and then I'll just drag to the size the picture to fit in with the background picture. Then I'll click this to make it to accept it. So I'll just go ahead and just place this to fit in with the picture. Then I'll go ahead and select the text layer and then click on command or ctrl t to transform so i'll be able to place the text in another position okay and don't forget that this is still clip to what we have so this looks good then i can choose the other one which is this one and then what we have before so that is it you can easily create a text and in case you want to switch things up you can use this one as well drag it above the sunset text and then you make this one invisible click on the text layer select command or control to for transform and then if you drag it down there you see it there just like that <laughs> so you can just switch things up you can move things around to what you 
feel it's okay for you take it down this looks good so just like that we've created a picture in text effect in photoshop so you can just switch things around use any picture you like you can put whatever pattern you want and just do anything you can do anything with photoshop okay and that is it i hope with this trick you can create any kind of text you want for yourself to put on any picture that you like okay so thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed this tutorial please don't forget to subscribe to my channel like this video and drop a comment in the comment section thank you so much and see you on my next video bye for now